Long ago, in a far off place, before time began, in a heavenly realm, there existed a god named Allah. After a hard day of work making plans for a new creation, Allah comes home from work. Allah, with his shoulders slumped, Allah makes his way into his big lonely castle, contemplating his ideas for a new creation. How lonely it is to be alone, Allah thinks. Then an idea comes to Allah's mind. Harlots and whores, virgins and slaves. <laughs> So Allah makes preparations to make whores and harlots, plenty of virgins and slaves and servants, pulling out his trusty Quran, the co-eternal book that is not created but is equally eternal with Allah. Allah begins flipping through the book, looking to see how he is to make man. Ah, here it is. As Allah begins to create, something comes to his mind that he has not thought of before. The Christians are so stupid, Allah thinks, because they believe God is a trinity, co-eternal with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Allah begins to look at the Quran very suspiciously, his co-eternal words staring at him. I thought only I was eternal. Allah thinks to himself, I am not a trinity, but am I a duality? I am Allah, the eternal, here with the eternal word, Allah thinks, but does not let this dissuade him. Thinking is for stupid people. Allah begins to make preparations to begin creating his first virgin when suddenly the Quran opens to Surah 96 Ayat 2 created man out of a mere clot of congealed blood blood? where do I get blood? <gasps> Allah! stop! no 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 the Quran says in 1526 we created man from sounding clay, from mud molded into shape. I thought the book said blood. Hmm. Well, clay is nice. <laughs> Stop! Allah! The Quran says in Surah 3, Ayah 59, he created him from dust. Hmm. Make up your mind. There's got to be some dust in here. Ah, wait, Allah. Don't forget in the Quran says in Surah 19, Ayah 67 and uh, hmm, 52:35. But does not man call to mind that we created him before out of nothing? Nothing, nothing. How am I meant to make something out of nothing? Who do you think I am, God? Uh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Not so fast, Allah. The Quran also says in Surah 16, Ayah 4, He created him from a sperm drop. You are making me crazy. Is it blood? Is it dust? What? Now sperm? Where do I get sperm? But it's what the co-eternal book says, Allah. Don't blame me. Stupid book! So Allah completed his creation and commanded all the angels to bow down to Adam. Surah 2, Ayah 34. 
All right, angel. My beautiful and gorgeous creation. Bow down to mankind, my other, more better creation. But, but ah, we, we want, want to bow, bow down, down to, to you. Bow down now. But, but ah, ah, in your, your Ten, ten commandments, commandments and the Torah, the Gospels, it says that we are only to bow down to you. I don't care what I said, and neither should you. Bow down now. No. So be it. You are damned. No. So Allah cast out the angels that refused to worship Adam, despite the prior commandments to only bow to God. Stupid angels, how dare they? When did I ever say that they should worship me only? It's in the Bible, Matthew 4, 10. You shall worship the Lord your God, and Him only shall you serve. The Bible? Who wrote the Bible anyways? According to the Quran, you did, in verse... Mankind corrupted the Bible, so you need to shut up. <gasps> Don't tell me to shut up! You promised that you would preserve your word in the Bible, in Isaiah 59:21. Don't you remember? Quiet! I order you to be quiet! Oh, look, all I was trying to say is in the Bible... I don't care what the Bible says. But, but the Bible says that Satan rebelled because he wanted to be God. So? So, what if Satan is trying to justify his own stupid rebellion by telling lies about you to make you look stupid? I don't follow you. Speak slower. Oh, listen. Let's just say for the sake of argument that you did tell all your creation to worship you only. With me so far? Continue. Okay, now imagine Satan wanted to be God and he took one-third of your angels to rebel against you. Uh-huh. Keep going. So, now imagine Satan's on earth telling lies and told everyone that he rebelled against you because you told him to worship you, but instead you abrogated and contradicted yourself by telling Satan to worship Adam. So now Satan is trying to make it seem like it's your fault that he rebelled. Because the commandment to worship Adam is so stupid that it weakens your character and it makes you seem unfair and downright insane. And it would make me very hypocritical too now, wouldn't it, to tell someone to do something when I told them not to do it. <laughs> yep, it would. I, I would never do anything like that, right? Uh... Hmm... Whatever, I'm bored. We're, we're the virgins. We're the virgins. <sighs> In paradise. Awesome. Awesome, I'm going to have some naughty sex. Will you watch my creation for me? I'm horny. Get it? Horny? Because I have horns? I need a new job. This sucks. <laughs> I'm Satan. Oh, I, I mean Allah. I mean Allah. <laughs> but eternally e eternally <laughs> Oh no! <gasps> Don't tell me to shut up! You promised it in. <laughs> Oops, I had two. Ah, not good. Stop! Allah! No, no, no! The Quran says in Surah 15, Ayah 26, we created man from sounding clay, from mud. <laughs> mud! <laughs> mud! Okay, this is getting stupid now. I'm making a lot of goofs. <laughs> <laughs>